So you guys are probably wondering what I am holding right now. There's this thing going on on Facebook. It's a group called You've Been Boozed or Boozed. It's very cool. All the moms and even the dads are getting involved in it. And um, you know, you get little goodies from the store. I got me some Sour Patch Kids, which I had already opened. And I got the other one I already had, but it was Bud Light Strawberry. This one's a Bud Light Salter Lemon Lime. And then I had two Rice Krispie Treats, but again, I ate one. And then this little puppy is almost halfway done. So this is the, um, it's Raspberry Amsterdam. So good. So good. And then you get a note with it. And it says, you've been boozed. The boozing bundles. So, Deborah, a shout out to her husband and her. I'm so red, guys. It was I was outside running around. I feel like we just had I feel cream. disgusting right now. And we just had ice cream. It's so hot and muggy outside. But I officially was boozed. My husband was like, "What's going on? What's going on?" So, I boozed actually two people. So now I'm going to do a couple more. And it's it's fun. It gives us something to do during this quarantine. Everybody's going crazy. I know I am. And I looked apart too. I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Anybody could do eyebrows because you know I can get my eyebrows done and maybe my hair done too. Anyway, um it was very cute. Very cute. I ha I love everything that I have. The alcohol is actually coming into play. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no um it's it's cool things for us moms to do and like i said even the dads are getting in um and even the dads are enjoying it so um this shout out goes to all the moms all the dads every everybody who's watching my video right now each and every one of you is getting a shout out don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. I know I haven't been posting anything lately with everything going on with the corona. Me working still. Um, schoolwork. Uh, I'm trying to think. Just everything in general. It's been, it's been super, super crazy. As you guys know, my birthday had passed. So I still have my balloons. The other one is over here. Mom, can I keep one for my car? Do I have to go right here? there. And then I have my birthday queen. It's kind of deflating, but... It is deflating, but you know what? I'm not ready to get rid of them yet. I personally like my balloons. I cut off my face on that one, but it's okay. Mommy, can I have the Travis? Yep. Every time, it's mom, mom, mom. What's for lunch? What's for dinner? Eat some goldfish, people. Eat some goldfish, like I do. No, you don't have goldfish, but what did you guys just get done eating? Ice cream. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I give everybody credit. Um, especially my husband. I wouldn't be able to do what I need to do as well if it wasn't for my husband. My kids are very blessed. I am very blessed. And, you know, to have a YouTube channel that we could go on and talk to you guys and tell you guys that you're not alone. It means a lot. It really means a lot. So many. Midnight's in the window right now, and it's a little messy, so I'm not going to show her. We bought plants um, a little while ago, and my cat pretty much destroyed my plant, and she lays on top of it. Most likely at the end of this video, look closely. I'm going to try if nobody bugs her. I'll take a picture of her, and you'll see her laying on top of my plant. Um, but anyway, here comes the husband. But yes, I've been boozed, and it felt great. So don't forget to booze your neighbors. Enjoy boozing during this crazy quarantine. Here comes my husband now. And I want to be able to show you guys some updated things that we were doing on our truck. But I'm not going to show now until we get one last thing, you know, all set and ready to go. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. We just wanted to keep you uh, guys posted to let you know that we're still here. Sorry that we have not been posting pretty much anything at all um we enjoy the love and the support from all our followers from the very beginning and um 
Don't forget that we have a Facebook page, The Let's Go Fam, and we have an Instagram page called The underscore Let's Go underscore Fam. And then my husband also has a channel called Scrap Scholar. I will pin him down below. So thank you very much, very much for the love and support. I can't say it enough. Like I said, we, if we didn't have 116 viewers, you know, who would watch my videos, you know? You know? Just kidding. Anyway, we're going to cut this video short. I just wanted to keep you guys posted, let you know that we're all here. The kids are doing great. Me and my hubby is doing just great. Um, I post some stuff on social media, which is Instagram. Uh, we do have a tank talk. We do have a TikTok called the Let's Go Fam. So if you go follow us, we have a link to the um, YouTube that you could click on and go to. Okay. You have to come to me because I can't. What's up? And don't forget to check out my TikTok, Jake Let's Go One. Jake Let's Go One. You heard it from Jake himself. He has a TikTok. And uh, I don't know. Kids are arguing in the back. Kids are disrupting my video, but that's cool because this is real raw life and it's it's fine. I'm tired. So if anybody's looking at this video saying, oh my God, what is wrong with her? I'm tired. Okay, I am tired. Anyway, guys, we love you. We thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and join the fam. And until next time, and if anybody said, peace out. out. What's up, Let's Go Fam? So, I'm going to be pinning pictures of the truck because the pictures don't do justice. But, Mama got herself new tires. And I also got a lift on the truck. But, uh, right now we're going riding. I'll show a before and an after shot, but if you can see right there. That's hubby, and he has the bike. If you're wondering where the girls are, Ariana has been home for two days. Uh, she's with her friend Cassia. She just moved into a new house, and... We got the boys, and Mackenzie just went over to one of her best friend's house. What's up, Let's Go fam? We're going to be doing a wheelie, and eventually we're going to be jumping over the truck for the channel. Um, I'm going to be jumping over the truck with this six and a half horse uh, Azusa mo mm -mm, uh, mini bike. Now that it's lifted, it's going to be a much difficult, much more difficult jump. Yeah, I told them I'm going to show them before and after pictures of the truck. Some, like Nitro Circus meets Evil Knievel meets children. And first off, let's just say thank you guys for the 117 subscribers. Yeah. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, what should I do? A burnout the for them? <laughs> thank you for the support. I'm going to go fast. Yeah, thank you for all the support. My goal is to get 1,000 subscribers, subscribers, but we'll see. I did. Uh, I did show it. And... I'm also going to be showing before and after pictures of the truck, like I had said. Um, it got a lift in it and all needs a cleaning because all the pollen. But it gets our crazy family around and it's a great working truck, it really is. <laughs> Probably. It has a nice lake over here. They're in the truck. All right, go ahead. You don't feel comfortable with just the uh, pants on? No, yeah. All right, so Charby's going to get changed into his pants. All right, let's go, fan. This is for you, 117 subscribers. The Army ones. He knows what to do. Because of the high grass. Well, that slow. Yeah, over there, but not there. So it tangles into the chain. So occasionally we'll have a few uh, chain pops. 
but it's actually um, a nice little trail. I look ratchet. I'll help. You got the pants? So we normally go in here in the trail and they'll ride on the grass or they'll ride on the blacktop. I prefer them to ride on the grass so if they do tip the bike they lay on a soft soft um, surface instead of it being on the uh, concrete. And I didn't realize I was still zoomed in. But yeah, this is the concrete. That's the grass that I've added them. But they're over there between the uh, trees because they went through a high thing of grass and the chain popped. There's the boys. Travis the Badger. Let's go riding the mini. That's Travis the Badger, everybody. <laughs> yeah, all so the kids cute. do pretty well on it. I think Travis is the first, the only one that hasn't yeah. really tipped it yet. Shut those doors. You can leave the tailgate open, but the doors are running the battery. Oh my God! Even from the rear, it looks it looks like a beautiful truck. From the rear, look. So Let me hit my zoom. Sitting up stout. So this is what we're going to be doing for a little while. Let's go fam. Like I said, we don't have the girls. It's peaceful. The boys don't fight. Again! Four more! Two, two, four more! Be careful. Pay you got four you. more. Yeah. Careful. Stay on the grass. They don't stand the grass. They do wipe out. Yes, I told them. Look okay. at the line, Let's Go Fam. Look at that line. Oh my God, if Let's Go Fam knew when I was little, I know some of the people that are watching, if they knew, I grew up in English Town. I'm in Alpen, English Town. And uh, we had the flea market in English Town, obviously English Town Auction. And then we had the swap meet at the um, Raceway Park, Old Bridge English Town Raceway Park. So the swap meets were a few times a year and the auction was like almost all year long and I would offload trucks for like 10 bucks an hour cash and then I'd save up, you know, whatever, six, seven, eight, nine hundred bucks and then I'd go to the, the swap meet, right? And then at the swap meet, there'd be people from like Pennsylvania, Connecticut, upstate New York and okay. there'd be so many bargains. Put it up! All right, let's go, man. The shade just popped, which is fine. Fine. He was able to get what three spins and then the chain pop. So we're gonna let hubby uh, fix that. I'm gonna pause this for just a second, and then hubby can come back and vlog second two second time to come finish his story. All right, babe. So what were you saying? Yeah. So people from all over, if they know what the swap meet is or was. I should say it was, because I don't know if they do anymore. Anyways, they would show up and they'd have like your go-karts, your, like your, your car parts, you know, fenders, rear axles, front axles, steering columns. Everything involving anything with an engine, sometimes power tools, tools, tents with all kinds of, you know, grab docks, buckets, and take tent for a dollar type deal. And Anyways, I'd go there on a Sunday, last day of it, because it'd start Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'd go the last day of the swap meet, I'd go around, 
and I'd look specifically for people that had bikes, squads, dirt bikes, mini bikes, that I'd look at the plates, try to look for the plates, see how far they were going to go back home. And I would also look for, um, you know, how much room and how much, what they had to pack into when they were done. Because a lot of people would offload something that they had sitting there for like 1200 bucks. They would say, ah, it didn't sell in the last couple of days. You know, I'll take 700 or 800 cash if you got it. And that's how I, I, I got, uh, I had, uh, oh my goodness, I had an 80s uh, CR, um, I'm sorry, uh, I had a 70 uh, Yamaha Zinger ATC uh, uh, 70 uh, three-wheeler. Right. I bought a 79 CR125 Elsinore. I bought, um, uh, I had a older, um, it was an 80, 80, Seven, uh, seven, uh, XR, uh, 80. I had, uh, oh my god, just, just uh, a plentiful amount of bikes and quads and dirt bikes going on. Chavi, go get me my, my coffee. My parents, it wasn't that they couldn't afford to get me a bike, they didn't want to see me get hurt. So when I was like Travi's age, I actually acquired my first bike when I was like seven. And uh, actually, it was a go kart. My dad brought it home out of the garbage, and I fixed it up. And then um, that was cool. They didn't think I was going to get it running, and I did get it running. Yeah, he's pretty uh, handy when it comes to these uh, mini bikes and dirt bikes. Well, and small engines. Uh, I, you know, I used to be able to, you know, rebuild the, the top end and like CR25. And, you know, I was able to rebuild the carburetor and you know new flows, you know clean out the ball, new seals, all that. I used to be good at all that because I had to work on my own stuff in order to make it go. My mom and my dad really wouldn't offer a hand because they didn't want to contribute to me getting ultimately hurt. And I did have my fair share of bang ups. Now, when I met my wife here, let's go fam, she can attest that I had I had a KFX 400 quad chain. I had a KFX 400 quad and. Uh, well, you tell them, babe. How was the time that we had the quad? Be careful. Thank you. It was amazing. The chain popped again. Let's go, fam. Uh, here we go. Let's go, fam. Get my exercise for the day, right? Yes, he is. Also, guys, stay tuned. If you have not yet stayed um, this long during our video. We will be doing post notification shout outs. So you guys don't want to miss that. Um, like I said, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. So we're probably going to stay here maybe for like an hour, hour and a half. Depending, we did put gas in there. Um, there's people walking all the way over there. But they don't say anything. Um, and the kids don't really rip up the uh, fields that bad. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, if you have yet getting a seen the rest of this video well you may want to stay tuned because instead of one shout out today i am going to go look back and see how many people because we got into quite a few people that just um are new subscribers to the let's go fam so stick around for that because you guys are going to get a post notification shout out and uh you don't want to miss it also, we'll be doing our giveaway soon. So again, we will tell you guys how to enter the giveaway. You do not want to miss this at all. All right, guys. Well, until next time. And don't forget, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and, and subscribe, subscribe. And join the fam. And thumbs up. What do you say? Peace out. What's up, guys? So we are now here to do the post notifications we have a couple of them because there's a new people that subscribe to our channel and the first notification shout out goes to infinity tiffany thank you so much jamie o'brien maureen greg we want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to the let's go fam it means a lot um like i said my goal is pretty high up there um i'm going to try to get a thousand subscribers but each and every subscriber counts, so I want to say thank you. Um, we truly appreciate the love and support, honestly. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you guys. 
Thank you for being new members of the fam. Thank you guys, you rock. So if you want to post notification shout out and if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just hit that red button, subscribe, and turn on that bell if you don't want to miss any of our updated videos that we may post. Also, we have a Facebook page, the Let's Go Fam, so go ahead and check that out if you like. And we have an Instagram, which we normally pick out people also for the post notification shout out and the giveaways, uh, which is the underscore Let's Go underscore Fam. That is how you are able to join in our giveaway and the rules will be pinned in the next video that's going to be uploaded. All the rules that you need to know. So don't forget, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and join the Let's Go fam. Alright guys, until next time. Peace out.